Today, I'm gonna to be making a pecan praline cheesecake. This is from the website called lifeloveandsugar.com. I will link this exact recipe for you below because this cheesecake has ingredients for the crust, for the cheesecake filling, and for the topping. I'm gonna to be going over those ingredients and instructions uh, one section at a time, but if you want to look at the directions as a whole, I will leave that link below. You can click on it and print it out, and you can look at it all at one time. So for the crust only, you're going to need two and a fourth cups of graham cracker crumbs, and I had these up in the, um, cabinet. I hadn't opened them yet, so I had plenty. Uh, this is a 13.5 ounce box, and you're still going to have plenty left, so uh, that was enough of those. And then you need five tablespoons of packed brown sugar. You need one eighth teaspoon of salt, and you need 10 tablespoons. They're saying unsalted butter. I used regular butter and melted it because that's what I have. You also want a spring form pan, and it said to uh, put a piece of parchment paper in the bottom and then spray the sides. So what I did was I turned my pan upside down and I put my parchment paper over it and I took a knife, I actually took this knife, and I went around the bottom and uh, that's how I got it to fit in the pan. Um, and then I took Baker's Joy, I'm sure you could use just vegetable oil, oil but uh, the spray, uh, but I used Baker's Joy and I, I, I didn't spray the bottom so much, like in the middle and stuff, but I just sprayed around the side. So you want to preheat your oven to 325. And now we're going to take those ingredients and we're going to combine them in this bowl and just mix them together. And now you want to pour this into your spring form pan, push it into the bottom and you also want to go up the sides as well. Now we're going to put this in the oven for 10 minutes and let it bake. And I'm going to put mine on a, a cookie sheet, just so you know, that's I always make uh, cheesecakes on a cookie sheet. So I'm gonna have the cookie sheet underneath it. My crust just came out of the oven, so we're gonna let it sit here and cool. And we also want to reduce the temperature of the oven to 300 degrees. So the next part we're gonna work on is the uh, cheesecake filling. So while your uh, crust is cooling, we can do the cheesecake filling. So for this part, you're going to need 24 ounces of cream cheese at room temperature. So that's three blocks of this. You don't see it here. I'll show you where I have it. I'll actually show it to you right now. I have it at uh, my stove is where I made the crust and where it's preheated. It's warm. So I have, I put all the cream cheese in this bowl and I just have it sitting. All the heat is like right here. So I've every once in a while I'll turn it. And so I'm letting it get to room temperature there on the, the, uh, the stove. Okay. So now you need one and a fourth cups of light brown sugar three tablespoons of all-purpose flour, one cup of sour cream at room temperature, one tablespoon of vanilla, four eggs, and one cup of chopped pecans toasted. So this is a, a one cup uh, package. It says right there, one cup, if you can see that. So we're gonna toast these real quick. So I'm gonna pour this entire bag, because it's one cup, into this skillet. And it doesn't take long to do this. I mean, it might take five minutes. Uh, not long at all. But you just wanna kind of um, uh, move them around every once in a while, because they, if they, um, 
they'll burn quickly. Once they start to burn, they'll burn very quickly. So you don't want to let them sit there for a long time. So um, this will probably take five minutes total, uh, but I'm going to stir them occasionally and toast them, and then uh, we'll see what we need to do next. So now in our mixer, we want to take our cream cheese, our brown sugar, and our flour, and we're going to mix these on low speed. It, it said uh, be sure to use low speed uh, so that uh, to reduce the amount of air added to the ba batter, which can cause cracks. So you want to uh, uh, mix this until it's well combined and smooth. smooth to me. So now it says you want to scrape down the bowl. Now you want to add your vanilla and sour cream and mix this until it is smooth and combined. your eggs one at a time and then mix slowly after each egg and then scrape down the bowl when needed to make sure it's it's mixed in so I'll probably add two eggs and then scrape my bowl down and then add the other two Gently stir in the toasted pecans. Now we're gonna go put some aluminum on our pan. Okay, so she wants you to put aluminum around the springform pan. I've never, I've never done this before. Uh, so, just gonna, Get some out here, and then hopefully my pan has cooled off. Yeah, it's cooled it off enough for me to do this. So she wants you to take your aluminum and put it around the pan so that the water can't get inside, I guess. We've, I've made a lot of cheesecakes, though. I just don't remember this. I don't remember doing this. Pour the cheesecake batter into the crust. Her directions say, place the spring form pan inside another larger pan. So this is a pan that we use to make our turkey in at Thanksgiving. <laughs> but it's, the, it's a bigger pan and it's, uh, I mean, I would have used a cookie sheet with sides. However, she says to you want to fill um, around this up with water and go halfway up the sides of this pan. Well, our cookie sheet's not going to go halfway up the sides of this pan. So this barely, this is barely fits in here. But I'm going to take water and I'm going to pour it warm water and have it go halfway up this pan, but do not go over that aluminum foil. So that's one pitcher. I might need another uh, half a pitcher.
Okay, that looks good to me. That's like a pitcher and a half. So now uh, she says to bake for one hour and 15 minutes. The center should be set, but still jiggly. So I'm gonna carefully get this in my oven and we'll be back in an hour and 15 minutes. It's been an hour and 15 minutes. So now it says to turn the oven off and leave the door closed and set another timer for 30 minutes. And it will cool down a little bit but it will also continue to cook in this 30 minutes with the oven off. It's been 30 minutes. So now she says, crack the oven. I haven't even peeked at this thing. Crack the oven and let it sit for another 30 minutes. So I'm going to uh, set another timer for another 30 minutes and then we'll be back. It's been another 30 minutes. And so I'm going to take this out of the oven and we'll be careful because it still has all that water in there. It says to take it out of the water bath. And I don't want to drop it. Okay, I'm going to put it on this kitchen towel. Okay, now it says remove the um, foil. And I swear it, it looks like it did get water in it. I don't know. It looks like it got water in it. I don't know how that would happen, but anyway. So we're going to put it, I'm going to put it on top of this plate because we're going to put it in the refrigerator for five to six hours or overnight. With the ring on it? With the ring on it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you just remove it from the foil. Yeah, see, look, there's water in there. I don't know how that happened. Wonder if that means the bottom of the cheesecake is going to be. Mm, no, I don't think so. I don't think it would have gotten inside. So, um, anyway, what I was saying is you put it in the refrigerator for five to six hours. Okay, so to make the topping, you are going to need a half a cup of sugar, granulated sugar, uh, half a cup of packed light brown sugar, three fourths cup heavy whipping cream. Four tablespoons of, of, it says unsalted butter, I'm using regular butter, uh, cut into cubes. Three-fourths cup of chopped pecans toasted, I have already toasted these. And these aren't uh, chopped pecans, these are called uh, chips. chips. Yeah, pecan chips, and I love them. So, I I'll, I'll really like using those. Um, you need a half teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So, you, what you want to do... This is like a three-page recipe, too, by the way. If you, if you print out uh, recipes, it's a three-page recipe. So, what you want to do is you want to put everything in a pan on the stove, except for the pecans, salt, and vanilla. So, everything else is going to go in here, and uh, you're going to put it over medium-low heat until, uh, until all your butter melts and you've mixed it together need a candy thermometer you you really it, it just makes it easier if you have a candy thermometer so this is at 220 and you can see I've been stirring it and now you want to add your salt your remaining ingredients the salt and the vanilla and then your pecans and I'm gonna take this off and now you want to stir Vigorously. Vigorously is what the recipe says. Stir vigorously. So, I'm gonna stir this really, really good. And it says, um, stir it for about one minute. And then we're gonna set it aside and let it cool to room temperature. So, my cheesecake is still in the refrigerator, cooling down. And uh, so, this is something that I saw in the note section of the recipe that the topping can be made ahead of time and refrigerated until you're ready to use it. And then if you do have to refrigerate it, uh, you need to heat it in the microwave for 20 or 30 seconds to soften it and be able to add it to the top of the cheesecake. Uh, so what we wanna do right now is just, uh, we're gonna set this aside and let it cool to room temperature before adding it to the top of the cheesecake. I have a feeling it's going to take a, a quite a long time for it to uh, cool down to room temperature anyway, so we might not have to put it in the refrigerator at all. 
Okay, I have my cheesecake out of the refrigerator, and I'm going to take this ring off. Should I do a knife around the edge? Yeah, it probably wouldn't hurt. I don't know. I see some there's kind of around there. Well, I'm not the best at the crust. Now I'm going to take my sauce and I'm gonna put it over the top. All right, here we are. It looks wonderful. It does look wonderful. I told Dad, this is like the thickest cheesecake I think I've ever seen in my life. Look it, how thick that is. Yeah, it is pretty thick. I like the texture of all this pecans in there. Mm -hmm. I like the top um, with those little pieces. Mm -hmm. If you can find that. The pecan chipped pecan, is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. pecan, pecan chips, chips or yeah. something. Um, I really like those. Yeah. Uh, I tell you what though, you need to like cheesecake because it has a strong mm -hmm. cream, cream cheese, flavor. cheese flavor, yes. I also noticed that the pecans that are in the cheesecake were baked, yeah. they're softer. Mm -hmm. Just where they cooked. They're not bad, they're just mm -hmm. softer. You need to try the crust. You see how thick I have the bottom? You have a very thick crust mm -hmm. on the outside edge. Mm -hmm. A professional would not have had that thick of a crust around the outside, but I do like it. I do think it's mm -hmm. delicious. It's very, very sweet. Um, I even get the salt. Uh, the, the whole cheesecake though, I taste salt. Um, yeah, I mean, if you really want to, you could sprinkle some of that flakes on top. The, yeah, Malden. Yeah. Uh, yes, yes, you could. So what do you think about this? It's good. It's uh, For me, it could have probably lived without the nuts on the inside mm -hmm. and just have pure cheesecake because you get tons of pecans on top, so you don't really need the ones inside. Mm -hmm. But I do like it. It is very, very over-the-top, sweet, mm -hmm. decadent. Uh, but I do think it's delicious. And now, this was an all-day process. Now, this you, is a cooling time. You eat. can leave it in the uh, refrigerator overnight. I chose to leave it for six hours. So, I started this uh, before noon, and it's now 8.30. Just to let you know, 8.30 at night. And uh, so, if I look frazzled, that's why. Uh, but... Uh, you know, you're doing dishes in between and stuff like that. There's a lot of time in between where it's just sitting in the refrigerator. So it's not like you're in the kitchen the whole time. But just know, this is not one of those desserts where you're going to pop it out and it's going to be ready. Right, you're not going to get up in the morning and have it ready for lunch. It, yeah, it's not like that. This, Like I said earlier, it's three pages printed. And so um, it's time consuming. But at... All the cheesecakes, when they're really, really good cheesecakes, they are all they are an all day thing. Yeah. Uh, but I think it's worth it. I think a, a cheesecake's kind of one of those showy pieces, you know, to show everybody how good you you are in the kitchen, and, mm -hmm. and you're like, here, I made this, and uh, everybody's proud of you because not everybody wants to spend time to make a cheesecake. Uh, so I like it. I think it's it's very very, very delicious. Good. A lots of good yes. flavor. Yes. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I will have a link below. Just click on it. You can print it out yourself. And thanks for watching.